story to tell. During the operation to gain control of the Azovstal steel plant, the Russian army is said to have used two S-4 heavy mortars to fire guided projectiles at important targets. In a photo that has appeared on social media, a 2S4 mortar was firing at a target at the Azovstal steel plant. The shell was cylindrical, without the tail blades, indicating that it was a laser-guided 3F5 Smelchak shell. The 2S4 Tyalpan is the largest mortar system which has a history of devastating fortifications on several battlefields across the world, including Afghanistan, Syria, Israel, Chechnya, and Ukraine. The 2S4 Tyalpan, dubbed one of the gods of war by the Soviet army when it entered service in the 1970s. The ability to fire at a high angle allows the 2S4 to fire from a closed position, avoiding detection and destroying the target hiding behind fortifications or hidden mountainside. The Tylpans, Russian for Tulip Dash have a relatively limited range and a low rate of fire of only one round per minute, particularly because of the large size of the mortar and rounds they fire, 130 kg for standard high-explosive rounds and 228 kg for racket-assisted high-explosive rounds. A blast from the 28-ton tile and smoothbore mortar can take out fortified buildings, bunkers, and airport runways. Besides that, the Tylepan can fire concrete-piercing shells designed to shatter bunkers, and Sadar incendiary projectiles to set buildings ablaze. Unlike a shot fired from a howitzer, mortar rounds descend almost vertically downward on the target, effectively destroying walls of fortifications and cave mouths, and piercing through the roofs of buildings. The weapon system is operated by a crew of nine, with four crew members riding on the self-propelled mortar itself, and the other five following behind in a separate armored personnel carrier. The armor is said to be 20 mm thick, enough for protection against small arms and shrapnel. The round being fired at the Azovstal complex, is a laser-guided smelchak, which has a completely different shape compared to the unguided ammunition for the 2S4. The use of smelchak at the Azovstal steel plant makes sense, especially because the complex sits on top of a maze-link tunnel network that has been shielding the defenders from bombardments. The Azovstal steel plant is the last holdout of Ukrainian resistance against the Russian army in the devastated port city of Mariupol, and its fate has taken on a symbolic value in the broader battle since Russia invaded Ukraine on February 24.